for Investigates, uncovering scams and ripoffs, questioning government waste. Watching out for you now. News 4's Chris Nagus. She's a blast from the past, and now she's getting sued by the Attorney General. And just when I thought the allegations of neglected Oak Grove Cemetery couldn't get any worse, they did. I'm not talking to you. Marilyn Stanzo was never happy to see me or happy to answer any questions. Back in 2011, lots of people with loved ones buried at Stanzo Cemetery started complaining. It started with customers paying for grave markers that seemed to take an eternity to arrive. And I can understand three months, even six months. I can understand weather, but... Not for two years. Then complaints about the cemetery's overall condition started to pile up. From tall grass to a mausoleum in shambles. Things got so bad, a former cemetery volunteer told me some family members took drastic measures. There were family members who um, had had bodies of their loved ones removed from the building and placed at other areas cemeteries. According to the attorney general, that's where Stanza tried cashing in by charging upwards of 10 grand to have bodies removed. Not to mention a long list of problems, including some pretty shocking allegations like allowing spilled ashes dumped from stolen urns to remain on the floor. Plus all the exposed crypts that weren't repaired. None of this is a surprise to family members with loved ones buried at Oak Grove. Right it's been going on for years. At one point, Stanza made it very clear she didn't want me meddling in her graveyard. If you're button into business, if you had a knowledge of our business and how it operates, you wouldn't be here asking these questions. Judging by today's lawsuit, I wasn't the only one that noticed some problems with the business model at Oak Grove. The state has also filed an application for a temporary restraining order allowing families to remove bodies from the cemetery at a reasonable rate, not the 10000 or more Stanza was allegedly asking family members to pay. Of course, I'll keep you posted on this one. In the meantime, if you've got a scam, ripoff, or government waste you want me to know about, send me a message on my KMOV Facebook page, or you can find me on Twitter. Chris Nagus, News 4.